Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to the new lecture of multimedia technology and applications. So today we are going to study about time division multiplexing or TDM. So what is the definition of time division multiplexing? Time division multiplexing is a communication process they transmit to or more streaming digital signal or a common channel what does it mean two or more streaming channel one two three how many channel we have now four so four channel are going to transfer the data through one link okay this is what this is called time division multiplexing communication process they transmit two or more streaming digital signal digital signal through one common channel okay. another definition we can say that TDM is a digital multiplexing technique for combining several low rate digital channel into one high rate channel so this is low rate digital channel so max is going to combine low rate channel and then it transfer into one high rate channel and the data is going to be transferred through a single channel now so in this channel we are going to be high rate channel and these channel are low rate channel okay now the second thing one two three so we so we uh, differentiate the sensor by one two three so for a one we look at a full bandwidth for a two we look at a full bandwidth for a three look at a full band and for a four we look at a full bandwidth and this one will have their own time slot this will have own time slot and own time slot so so let we can say this is the first frame this is the second frame and this is will be the third frame one two three four one two three first frame one two three four one two three this is a second frame one two three four this is a third frame so now one thing keep in mind about the tdm like in a fdm we were attacking a, a god band whenever we are using a god band so it means we are going to Vesting our uh, bandwidth, see so, in a frequency uh, multiplying what we were doing, we were wasting uh, some bandwidth. So, here we don't need of uh, any god bands because each and every data of a sender is differentiated by their time slot. So, like we have a sender one, so we have a sender two, we have a sender three, we have a sender four. So, these uh, data of a sender is going to be differentiated by a time slot so like you can see one two three four differentiated by time slot one two three four again differentiated by time slot differentiated by time slot so now what is the job of multiplexer here so multiplex multiplexer is going to combine all the data of a full digital channel and make it a one single channel and the data and the data of a four channel is going to be transferred by a one high rate channel then at the demux side demux side is going to separate or going to remove uh, the time slot concept and make the data by one two three so one will come into here two will be here three and here four will be here so demux is the opposite of max so demux is going to be subtract all the four channels so max is going to add demux is going to be subtract so this is the concept about a time division multiplexing and this was the definition about that uh, high uh, combining a low rate digital channel to one high rate channel okay so then we are come by uh, coming to this synchronous time division multiplexing so synchronous time division multiplexing mean that towards sender and towards receiver the clock between sender and receiver need to be synchronized when the data is sending from a sender to receiver so they need to have understand between these that this data is coming now so okay we are going i'm going to receive this data so let's see come here that we have a three channel like one two three a one a two a three like so on so each and have their own time duration so they have a time duration time duration every every slot have a time duration so now coming to the max side max is going to add now okay max is going to all the data so it make a frame of a1 b1 c1 so a2 b2 a3 b2 so this is called synchronization so three 
low read digital chain is going to transfer their data so after adding or after mixing the channel so what uh, cyclone is going to do cyclone is going to make the data of each channel to be synchronized toward the receiver end so now a1 b1 c1 they are synchronized with the same read a2 b2 is the same read a3 b3 is the same read so now we have a frame one frame two frame three and the time slot will be t by three seconds now because each frame have a three time slot so each time slot duration will be t by three okay and here data uh, are taken from each line every t second <coughs> so when your data is going to be synchronized so there will be no loss of data and there will be no disturbance in your data so synchronization is more 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 important when you are uh, talking about time division multiplying because based on time so in synchronal time division multiplexing the data rate of the link is n time faster and the unit duration is n time shorter so what is going to do in synchronous and synchronous the data rate is going to be increase and the duration or we can say delay and delay of the time slot is going to be reduced so it is the um, best and big achievement of tdm so coming to the example in figure 6.13 i will show you and uh, the data rate for uh, each one of the three input we have three input and connection is one kbps and speed is one kbps three input one kbps one kbps one kbps and one kbps if one bit at a time is multiplex how many bits going to my uh, multiplex one one bit so it can be we can say that one divided by one thousand because the speed is one thousand yeah one kbps so one bit can be one divided by thousand make a uh, thousand part of a one second so it can be one divided by one thousand so what is the duration so duration can be this one what should like we can say we can answer the question is follow the data rate of each input connection is one kbps one kb mean one thousand so this means that the bit duration is one divided by one thousand now we can say one millisecond for a one bit so the duration of the input time slot is one millisecond uh, same as with duration so and then in the part b he saying that each output slot so output slot and info need to be uh, same because of synchronization so the duration of each output slot is one third of the input time slot this means that the duration of the output time slot is one by three minutes why because we have a three input so in the receiver f once it going to receive by this position so one two three so in one second can be one by three millisecond because we have three inputs so so the duration of each output we are talking about single output each output can be one by three one by three and one by three in a part see, each frame carries three output time slots so the duration of a frame is so how many slots we have three frame so each frame carries three output time slot so three multiply with the with the time slots it can be one millisecond okay so the duration of a frame is the same as the duration of the input units because out the two send and receiver the duration need to be a same because of synchronization when we are talking about synchronization so sender and receiver duration need to be same so if we take the figure that it can be one kbps okay we are talking about kbps so forget about mbps now f is 1 kbps so in uh, we had uh, three like what how many uh, input we have three so take a three uh, inputs now okay forget about this one we have three one two three input so okay forget about this as well because we need to have a frame of a three slot we need to have a frame of a three slot So what is going to do now? It's based on synchronization. You need to have a frame. So one kbps. This is kbps. This is also kbps. This is also kbps. This is also kbps. Basically, it's a uh, example of another. It's a uh, figure of another example, but I'm just making for to six point five. So what is going to do after multiplexing? Multiplexing is going to be synchronize your data. So now need to synchronize this data. So what is your one zero one? Then synchronize this one. Because of time, TDM 
concept so need to synchronize one zero zero then synchronize this one one zero one so one zero one so on so once you are talking about your tdm so your slot is going to be synchronized and for a synchronization you need to have a frame after multiplexing this is your frame now so it is synchronized so this will go towards the receiver and receiver is going to demarch the frame and then the receiver can get you the original data so coming to the interleaving concept so you guys know about interleaving we studied it in the midterm classes as well so it's again coming to a simple review of interleaving the process of a taking a group of a bits a group of a bits from each input line for multiplexing is called interleaving like you have a one two three four input and what it's going to do they are taking a group of bits from a each input group of bit from each input then multiplex it out this is called interleave we interleave a bit by one minus n from each input uh, onto one output we call uh, how many one two three four input we have then after multiplying we have a single output this is called about interleave coming to the data read management so not all the input link may be have the same data read now we are not saying that every input will be have the same data rate but once it have a different data rate so we need to make it the same so how we have some method so some link may be slower there may be several different input link speed there are three strategies that can be used to overcome that data rate mismatch so how so we have a multi-level multi-slot and pulse stuffing so once we have a uh, sl slow uh, data rate input so we can make uh, three different kind of strategies to uh, speed up the link so if you have a uh, slow lower link slow speed of link so you need to be speed up so multi-level multi-slot and this one so coming to the definition of so multi-level so what is multi-level multi-level mean when the data rate of the input link or multiple of each other simple multi-level mean you have a let's see you have a speed 1 mb mb mbps and then another one will be the 2 mbps the third one will be the 4 and the fifth one will be multiple of it so so on yes, sir. so by multi level we can increase the speed of a link then another is multi slot the higher the bit rate channel or allocated more slot per frame and the output frame rate is multiple of each input link pulse stuffing the slowest speed link will be brought up to speed up of the uh, link by the bit insertion so in the pulse we are going to do what we are going to do we are going to add a bit insertion okay and a multi slot what you are going to do we are going to allocate the more slots there bit insertion there is a slot so coming to the figure of this multi level multiplexing <coughs> let's see we have a one two three four five okay just think we have a four are five links so for tkbps 40 kb 40 so they are same so no need to make any kind of strategies or reply any kind of technique on it but then we but we have 20 kbps and 20 kbps so what we are going to do we are going to add both link using a max then after that we are going to add it up then so this is about TDM. Once you are using a TDM, then you you are, you are going to use this concept. So it's going to be 40 kbps. So 40, 40, 40 is going to be 60 kbps. So th that was low rate channel. So all the low rate channel is going to be combined using a max. Then transmit or transfer the low rate channel by a one high rate channel. This is about multi level multiplexing. So now the third second one is multi level slot multiplexing this is about a multi slot okay so now what's going so we have a link with speed of 20 kbps 20 kbps and 20 kbps but here is 50 kbps so what we are going to do we are going to separate uh, 50 kbps into two so 25 25 it's going to be separate then we have a max max is going to hit all of low rate channel and make it to one high rate channel so the input with a 40 kbps data rate has a two slot in each frame okay so this was about multi-slot multiplexing multi-slot multiplexing if you can see 
the input with a 50 kilohertz 50 kilohertz that has a two slot in each frame so if you can see two slot then other one is one one if you can have another in another uh, slot again we will in another frame we will have a two uh, two slot in each frame for 50 kb because 50 kb is a multiple of 25 okay and so on coming to the pulse stuffing so in a pulse stuffing what we are going to do let's see we have a three link one link is 50 kbps second is 50 kbps and the third is 46 kbps okay but 46 is less than 50 so what we are going to we are going to add some bits so this is called pulse stuffing when you are adding a star uh, adding a bits with a link so it's called pulse stuffing and 46 is to be 50 then make a uh, then aid with the max and max is going to aid all the low rate channel and transfer the low rate channel data into one high rate channel so this is about your uh, pulse traffic and the pulse traffic as i mentioned before that this is the bits are insertion of a bit okay so let's come to the synchronization again the same thing as i told you couple of a time synchronization is to ensure that the receiver correctly read the incoming bits for, for example know the incoming bit boundaries to interrupt a one and a zero a noun bit pattern is used between the frames the receiver looks for the anticipated bit and start counting bits till the end of the frame then it start over again with the reception of another known bits these bits or a bit pattern are called synchronization they are part of the overhead of a transmission i studied about i studied a lot about synchronization hope you guys have a concept uh, regarding synchronization that what is synchronization how synchronization can work then coming to the frame bits about synchronization let's see we have a frame one frame two and frame three from a frame one we have a this bit from a frame two we have this bit and from three we have a this bit and we need to have a synchronization we need to make a synchronized pattern so first of all one is going to be received and he will, the receiver think about what should be the next one it can be zero then what should be the third one it can be one so this is your synchronization pattern okay so this was your uh, lecture hope you guys find it well so watch it out if you have any question you guys can ask thank you for your time see you in the next lecture